hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a drop down select option with such functionality using jQuery Ajax see now the width is increased let's search again click it baseball that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I am adding the select option element, select, I am closing the select element inside the select I'm adding the option values equals to selected hidden this select option is a sports select sports The second option, I want to bind the data. Now, the second option, I want to bind the data from an array list using jQuery. Now, before adding the data into this drop down control with jQuery Ajax, first we'll check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. Let's save this file. And this is the output of that HTML curl right now, which contains only the header tags, horizontal line, and one select option element. Now, when you are implementing jQuery functionality, the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link. So, search for latest jQuery CDN Google. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries website, you notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery. Click that one. Here we can find the different versions of jQuery CDNs. I am selecting the latest version 3.3.1. Let's copy this one and paste in our header section. After that, now I am adding a new script to add the arrays dollar document dot ready function now inside this function I'm adding some arrays the variable sports list is equals to the first one is a cricket Come on, volleyball. The third one is the fourth one is tennis, and the fifth one is a baseball. Let's close with semicolon. Now, before binding this data into this option element. We require two more CDN links. Search for select to CDN. From the search results, I'm selecting the second option select to CDNJS.com. From this website, we can get the select to CDN links. I require the select to .css, this file, this CDN link. Let's copy that one and add link href is equals to CSS and the second parameter or L is equals to which is a style sheet. Style sheet. Let's close this one. 
and we require a second CD and link of the select two, which is the min.js file. Come to the bottom. Here we have the select two.min.js file. Let's copy this one and add in the header section script source is equals to. I'm closing the script tag. That's it. We have added the required CD and links to bind this error list into this select option as well as the search functionality. Dollar between double quotes. I'm adding the select element ID. ID is equals to sports. Let's copy this one. When we are adding IDs in the jQuery or JavaScript, we need to prefix with hash dot. I'm adding the function select to, which is a predefined function. This is one. Data colon. I'm adding this variable sports list. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. Right now, this drop down list is empty. Now I'm reloading the browser. See, after reload the browser, notice the drop down control, the design has been changed. Notice here, the array list is binded into this drop down control with the search filter. Let's adjust the width the sports I'm adding the style width column 150 pixels let's save this file we'll check the final output I'm reloading the browser see now the width is increasing let's search again click it baseball that's it